we had audio for this male calling and we came out towards Impala Plains and bumped into him straight away and isn't that amazing one of the Birmingham boys he's busy on a territorial patrol so we've seen him scent marking quite a bit already this morning lots of vocalizing and so hopefully there'll be a lot more to come um, but we couldn't have asked for a much better start it's amazing so Dave and I are thrilled um, we'd like to welcome all the viewers from around the world I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you may be or a wonderful evening and um, I'm glad that you can all join us and like I say, what a start that we've gotten here. You can see he's still quite full from that buffalo that they consumed yesterday. Um, but he is on a bit of a mission. He keeps stopping and listening out. I wonder if he's maybe not picked up some audio for the sticks. He's heading exactly to where we had the sticks yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon. So I wonder if he maybe didn't hear the sticks during the night and that's where he's off to to go and try and see if he can locate on them. Um, there's so far no sign of any of the others, uh, other Birminghams. They, maybe they're still lounging about where the buffalo was, but we're going to follow this guy and just see where he takes us. It looks like it is in Tsuku, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and that is how to start a day in Africa. Isn't that the most incredible sound? I really, really, really love when lions roar. So to start the day like that is absolutely unbelievable. But I'm gonna catch up with him quickly before he disappears. Um, so, but like I say, that sound is just something that you can never, ever, ever forget. Um, it's one of those things that any guide will tell you is a sound that they always, always, always enjoy to hear. So it really is quite something. Um, that sound will be carrying all over this area. He'll be announcing himself to everybody, um, making sure that everybody knows that he's here, um, that this is his territory. And if the Styx females are around, they would have then heard that <coughs> and will be either coming towards it or potentially they will be um, moving away from it depending on their disposal, well, the way that they feel this morning. So, I'm just going to try get round. So, Laura would like to know, does this lion always have a limp? Um, Laura, I must be honest, I haven't seen much of the Birminghams over the last few months, um, but every time I do see them, they seem to have these limps like this. Um, the limp seems to um, get better the more that they walk it's almost like they when they lie down for long periods of time which this guy would have been doing um, during last night to try and digest that buffalo that they get a strong lactic acid build up in their limbs and that becomes quite difficult for them to walk um, over time as he moves and as he um, walks around this area so the muscles loosen up the joints loosen up and the limp becomes less obvious but yes they have got a few limps i've seen one or two of the birmingham's limping around they also have fought quite a bit with each other so there's quite a few wounds um, you can see he's actually got a wound on his left eye at the moment that's still busy healing and you can see he's just having a good scent mark there. So he's rubbing his face, which has got some scent up on that bush, and then he's going to lift his tail and urinate. There we go. And that will be a nice chemical signature. To everybody that this is my territory. And you can hear in the background, there's also a whole bunch of impalas um, alarm calling at him. So they expressing their displeasure this morning at him walking around and vocalizing. Um, and so 
you'll actually find that they'll stay quite close. They're not going to move too far, um, just so that they can keep him in eyesight. What they don't want to do is run away blindly. Um, they don't know how many other lions are around. And also, they could then potentially run um, and lose visual of him, and he can go into an area and start stalking them. So you'll find that they'll kind of follow him around shouting, telling everybody that they've managed to uh, see and locate a predator, and that everyone must be very, very careful.